Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. First up, we have the King of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Eight of uh, swords reversed. Next we have the Eight of Cups in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana the Fool upright, and lastly we have the Ace of Cups upright. So for your overall energy, you do have the King of Cups in the upright position. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, this could be someone who's playing a pivotal role in uh, your life this week, Sag. Or it could be you, especially if you're on the cusp of Scorpio, which is Water Sign. Or you have Water Placements in your chart. But the... King of Cups represents showing the best of himself in the upright position. So if this is somebody, say, you have just met, or if this is your significant other, or it could be a friend, a family member, uh, somebody you work with, a, a business partner, or so forth, this person is really on the up and up when it comes to emotional matters or as well as creative matters as well as spiritual matters because the cups govern all of those things. So... It could be you're meeting someone like this uh, this week and this person is incredibly sweet and they're showing the great um, emotional mature side of their personality. Uh, if this is you, you're doing the same thing. Sometimes the King of Cups can come up when um, we need to be in contact with, uh, say, a, a doctor. This could indicate this is a very caring doctor. If we're dealing with, you know, sensitive matters, can be also a very caring counselor or um, therapist or something like that. Some of you could be that person or you could be dealing with somebody like that. But either way, it is beautiful energy. It is emotional strength it is emotional stability it is very very strong energy especially as an overall coming right into the week we do have the eight of swords here in the reverse position indicating you're coming out of feeling of being trapped now Sagittarius this is probably your worst nightmare of feeling trapped Sagittarius loves freedom so uh, being in this energy is not conducive to the Sagittarius uh, natural position so it looks like you find an escape route <laughs> this week. If you were feeling trapped, even in your head where you're going around and around and around and, um, you know, too much mental torment, basically, this is mental torment. And it could be uh, trying to think of how to get out or how to escape this feeling of being trapped. When the card's inverted, this is where we find an escape route. Now, sometimes this can be where we feel trapped in a relationship. Sometimes it can feel... Like we're trapped in a neighborhood or the town or city we live in. It's just like it feels too restrictive. The job we're at, general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. When the card's inverted, this is where we find an escape route. If it's a bad neighborhood or a bad place where you live, this is like finding an escape route. You find someplace else to relocate to. And uh, next card up is the Eight of Cups in the upright position, pointing to the vision quest. It's funny, a lot of signs got this card this week for some reason. And there's going to be a lot of people searching for some emotional fulfillment and excitement, perhaps. But this is all about, uh, you know, we're aware of the fact that the, our family loves us, our friends love us, and so forth. But sometimes if you're single, this could be where you're going off to find, you know, true love of your own. Others of you, this could be uh, something else that brought great emotional satisfaction to you. It could have been a hobby. It could have been a career. It could have been many different things. But this is where we're off searching for that. Like, we're going towards the Nine of Cups. We want to have that wish fulfilled. So... Um, moving towards the weekend, though, things switch up quite a bit. We do have the Fool. Well, mind you, maybe it's not really switching up. I think what's happening here, Sag, is that you're on your vision quest. You're looking for something, and you find it because the Fool is now presented with something new, something fresh, something that can bring excitement, love, anything into, the, into your life. So this is about taking that leap of faith. So it looks like maybe in your quest, 
um, early in the week, you do find an ability to do something different. It could be maybe dating somebody like I've never dated someone like this before, or I've never had a job like this before. Or I never went to this place before. It's something new. It's exciting, a little bit risky because we just don't know what we're going to find as we go along this journey, but it's a brand new journey. And where is it leading you to? The Ace of Cups in the upright position. This is Aces bring in some kind of new beginning for you, Sag. This could be the new beginning of the opening of the heart chakra. This is about finally realizing how much we are worth, where we really find that self-love point. It could be that on our journey, we find true love. This can be the beginning of true love. It can be finding out that you know we're going to have a baby and this is that connection to the baby it could be the birth of a baby or birth of a of a grandbaby for some of you it can also represent the the birth of something creative and something new it could be spirituality because cups govern you know spirituality as well as creativity um, could be even um, maybe on your new path you you find a new animal baby animal it could be you're you're going to decide to adopt maybe to adopt a child for some of you all others of you could be looking at adopting a new uh, a kitten or a puppy or whatever your animal of choice is but it looks like you find what you're looking for because in the eight of cups he's searching and here this is what he's searching for is the ace of cups and so it looks like you find what you're looking for here wow incredible reading and in closing, I will be pulling a card here from your angel answers. What do we have for Sagittarius? Get more information. Okay, it could be pertaining to this <laughs> leap of faith. Maybe you need a little bit more information before you go and uh, take that leap. <laughs> But it looks like it will lead you someplace really good. So that is your reading for the week. I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribership is free after all. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.